Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, JT Open Stuff, and today's the day, guys. I just want to tell you how much I greatly appreciate reaching 100 subscribers. I really, a month ago, if you had told me that I was going to reach 100 subscribers in a month, I would have told you you're crazy, but with you guys' support and all the, the videos that you've been viewing, um, I really, really just wanted to say how much I appreciated it. Here's to 100 subscribers. Let's try to get to a thousand now. Um, anyway, thank you so much. And for today's video, just to tell you guys how much I appreciate it, I went out to Walmart, as you saw maybe in my little preview video, and found this Dorables Academy Ultimate Pep Rally box. This box is bigger than any other Dorables box that I've seen, pretty much. And there are 16 figures, 10 Academy, and six exclusives one locker and four accessories. So as you can see, there's 45 to collect. And on the back side, you can see we still have our clubs, our faculty, student body, athletics, pep rally with that really, really cool animal that I'm still looking for. And then over here, exclusive figures and accessories. You can see we've got a Mickey, a Minnie, a Pluto, a Donald, a Daisy, and a Clarabelle. Look at those eyes on Clarabelle, sparkly eyes. And as you can see, there's gonna be a locker, a little Dorables banner, and even a little bench to sit them on. So that is going to be really cool. So again, let's jump right into this. Thank you guys so, so very much. And let's see what we can find in here. All right. Let's put that right over here. And I can see there's perforations on the box here. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this open. You know what? Let's just tear into it. <laughs> just saying. We reached 100 subscribers. I think we can mess up a box here and there. What do you think? Again, guys, I just cannot believe that we've reached 100 subscribers already. And as you can see right there, we get those exclusive six figures. I wasn't sure if you would have to open these and maybe you would get them. But nope, they are guaranteed. You get these six figures right here. We get our little bench right here. As you can see, even it's like labeled doorables. So this would be really cool. Maybe they made more of these. You could display your whole collection on. We'll put that right back there for the time being. We've got a little pamphlet that goes more into detail of who we can get. We'll go over those in just a couple of minutes. But for right now, and right here, looks like we've got a little, perhaps a little locket. So that's pretty cool. Oh, that will open up the, the little locker that is right here. So yeah, this will fit right into the locker. But if you guys have been watching, I've been opening up some of those doorbell lockets. You could even maybe put this on your doorbell's locket. Those locket clips would fit right in there. That would be a cool idea as well. But for right now, let's pop that in there. Very, very cool. And let's open it up. And as you can see, we've got some stickers. Very, very neat. We've got the little banner and its little stand. And there, we also have like a little megaphone here as well. So I tell you what, let's put the locker over on the side over here. See if we can get our little stand built here. Put that on there. Put that on there. Let's get these. Oh, that stands up pretty nicely. All right. And 
let's see. I think that this is the sticker for that. Let's check the back of the box just one more time. And yes, that is the sticker for that. So let's go ahead, peel this sticker off. See if we can get that right on there first time. A little off center, but I think it does the trick. What do you guys think? <laughs> cool little, cool little stand right there. Put that right back there as well. Hmm. You know what I was just thinking? Nope. It is supposed to be like that. It just doesn't stand super well. So maybe over time, if we just work with it a little bit and bend those guys just a little bit, maybe we can get that to stand. But for right now, we'll just lean that up back there. We'll put the little megaphone back there. Put the rest of the stickers back there as well. Now let's see about getting some of these folks out. We'll go ahead and get them out. Oh, that is super, super cute. That Clarabelle. Daisy, and I do like that there's almost like a little finger slot right there above the, each figure to help you pry those out of there. So reach right in there and grab Mickey and Minnie. We'll sit this over just for the time being and I'll go over each of these now. And as you can see, now we're looking at Pluto. He's got that cute little foam finger number one hat on. Very, very neat little adorable. Super cool. All right, let's put him on the little stands right back there. He is happy to be in a game, as is Daisy. Daisy's got pom-poms, matching bow in her hair. Very, very cute. Let's put her back there. And beside her, we'll put Donald. Donald looks like he is fighting mad and wants to beat the other team. But I'm sure he's a proud school supporter. If you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. Am I right? We'll put him right back there. Let's go to Clarabelle and look at those eyes on Clarabelle. Very, very shiny. Clarabelle's got pom-poms as well. Very nice little figure. Put Clarabelle on the side right there. We'll go Mickey next, and Mickey's got a foam number one finger as well. Really bright, shiny eyes. Very, very cool. Put him right there. Actually, I might have to switch him and Clarabelle because his foam finger is so large. And finally, last but not least, we have Minnie. Again, Minnie's got her pom-poms, cute little bow, sparkly eyes, very, very nice little figures. So these exclusive figures come in this little pep rally box. And as you can see, these guys are cheering their team on fiercely. So for the time being, we're gonna put those right back there. And I'll zoom in just a little bit, you can see how they kind of fit on there. So the stands aren't really tall enough in the back that you can see both both sets of um, figures on the seats, but a cool little display nonetheless. Let's zoom back out a little bit. And we're gonna get right back into this. And now on the front, if I remember correctly, it said you're going to get 10 Academy figures. But if you can see this, um, they are, we did get just the standard 10 looks like, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do you guys think? Do you think that Animal is going to be hiding in one of these doors? Let's find out. Let's start at the top. Hop right into this. And we have number two. So number two is <laughs> 
That looks like Scrooge. I know that's not Scrooge. Scrooge isn't much of a scientist. He might pay a few scientists, but he's not much of a scientist. So let's do this real quick. Let's go ahead and let, get our little pamphlet open. And we're going to look, because that's a faculty member. And that... Let's get that zoomed in there. Ludwig von Drake, right there. Just a comment. We'll keep this handy in case there's somebody that we have a little trouble identifying. And let's move right on over here. You know what? If this thing keeps coming out, what do you say we just go for the gusto just like this? <laughs> All right, we'll go here next. This is number five. And, aha. Look at this. We've got a little crossing guard action going on here. And this is definitely um, one of those. Oh no, that's not a student body. What little section is that in? That is a faculty as well. As you can see right here. Judy Hops. <laughs> so let's put Judy right over on the side there. And we'll go right down here to the middle. And we've got number nine. So who do we have for number nine here? A bunch of low numbers today so far. Number nine. <laughs> now this definitely is clubs. And as you can see right here. Christoph is playing his little his little guitar, his little stringed instrument there. Cool little yellow eyes there. Very, very nice little figure. All right. Put him over on the side. And let's go lower left right now. And number 14. So again, low numbers. Oh, somebody is getting ready to make a dress. <laughs> and again, this is going to be Susie, and she is right here. And she is ready to help make all the princess dresses you'll ever need. And that Susie is a rare, so that's pretty cool. That's our first rare, I believe, of the opening. And what do you say, you wanna open this one or should we leave it and open a few of these? Tell you what, let's go ahead and make a clean sweep of the left-hand side. And we have number 18. So again, everything is in the lower half of the numbering system, but, haha, here we are. And definitely sports. Let's flip right over there, or athletics, I guess you could say. See, Goofy is ready to ball out right there. He will dunk on anybody. Look at this guy. <laughs> very, very cool. I like it. Let's put it over here. Now, let's get started on this right side. Animal, where are you? Number 20. Three, so there we go. We finally broke the halfway point of the numbering system. Ah, uh, we have Tigger. What a cool little Tigger. He's got his tennis racket and his ball. He's ready to go play some tennis. And that is definitely an athletic adorable. And Tigger, I believe, is a rare. Let's take a look and see for ourselves here. And yeah, as you can see right there, Tigger is indeed a rare. 
So very, very cool. All right, let's go top right. Oh, we have number 28. And number 28 is, okay, Chip or Dale? Red Nose Chip or Red Nose Dale? I think that Red Nose is Dale, but we're gonna have to look together just to make sure. You're gonna let me know in the comments down below. I've gotta get this right. Is Red Nose Dale? I believe it is. But as you can see, he's got his little spirit jacket on, his little, almost like Letterman's jacket. So we're gonna put it over here. We're gonna see, is that Chip or is that Dale? Hey, hey, it is Dale. Red Nose Dale, Black Nose Chip. Look at that, that Chip is an ultra rare too. So if we pulled that, that would be a really cool find. All right, back to the opening and to the middle container. Wow, oh, another, oh, wait a second. That is a higher number, number 30. So let's see who is in number 30. Oh, this looks like Huey, Dewey, or Louie. Again, is it Huey? Is it Dewey or is it Louie? Let's find out. Okay, we start off here with Louie, Dewey, that is Huey. Huey is in the red. <laughs> there he is. Good. Whoa, sorry about that. He's giving a nice thumbs up to the team, ready to root on everybody. Very cool. Send him over here. All right. Two left in this very special 100 subscriber opening. We have number 39. And number 39 is, whoa, we got Fuzzy Bear. Hey, it's not animal, but I love Fozzy Bear. Waka, waka, waka. Oh, what a cool little adorable this is. So neat. Fozzy is one of my all-time favorite Muppets. And as you can see right here, Fozzy Bear. Fozzy Bear the Ultra Rare. <laughs> Very, very cool. So what an incredibly cool find that is. Fozzie Bear. <laughs> All right, guys, last one. And I just wanna take one more moment to tell you thank you so much for helping me reach 100 subscribers. And you guys made this possible. Um, I wanted to do something a little different than just a standard opening. And I saw this, I thought it would be a fantastic way of saying thanks to you guys. And look at this, this is number 44. So almost as high as you can go and look at the size of this Dorable. Wow, that is a big one. So let's pop it open and find out who is in there. <laughs> there we go. We have Miss Piggy. Oh, Miss Piggy. Look at that. Miss Piggy looks like she's the drum major. Fitting, because who is going to tell Miss Piggy what to do? It's always the other way around, pretty much, isn't it? Miss Piggy knows what she wants, and she knows how to get it by telling people exactly what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. At least, that seems like the way it is to me. I like Miss Piggy. She knows exactly, exactly who she is and who she wants to be, which is a very cool thing to me. So there we go, guys. Let's look up this Miss Piggy. We'll see, she is in the pep rally section. She is a rare. So we were one away from that animal, but now we've gotten the Kermit and the Miss Piggy. So, you know, I'm not very easily finding any of these Dorable Academies left in the stores in my area. But if I do find another one, I might have to open up one more box to see if I can get this animal because it's such a cool little figure. But if I can't find any more, I'm happy with what I've opened so far. And as always, I try to pick probably my, my favorite one of each video. And while Miss Piggy is really cute and I 
really enjoy this Tigger. I think you guys know who it is. It's Fozzie Bear. He is going to win my favorite of this video. And guys, just as an extra surprise and an extra bonus to you, the first person to comment in the comments down below about this video is going to get all of these Dorables shipped to them. So I will ship you every single one of these Dorables I opened in today's video as a thank you for watching my videos. Um, just make sure that you leave that comment. I'll reach out to you. I'll try to arrange a way that I can get these to you. Just bear with me because I am new at this. I'm not a YouTuber that gives away things all the time, but I do really enjoy the thought of giving back to you guys. As you guys know, I'm also doing a challenge where I'm going to be gathering toys for Toys for Tots this year. So leave a comment down below. If you're the very first person to leave a comment for this video, I will reach out to you and I'll see if we can arrange getting you all of these pops that I opened today, or pops, all these Dorables I opened today in this Dorables Academy Ultimate Pep Rally Box. So guys, again, thank you so, so very much for subscribing, for watching the videos. If you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe because it is really, really fun to open these things up for you all. I will continue to open up anything from vintage to modern and everything in between. So again, this is JT. Thank you very, very much, and I'll see you on the next video.